All right, here we go. This is a ranked 2v2 on Nestorn between the blue team in the upper left-hand corner. Wolf Cub in the Steampunk Saucer with Rainbow Contrails. You gotta love this, the, the Saucer with Rainbow Contrails because there's four. Um, and Skinniel in the Shark Neo and their opponents, the red team in the bottom right-hand corner, Rex in the Steampunk Osprey and Eagle Shadow in the Steampunk uh, the Steampunk Striker, and we do have a Steampunk team. All Steampunk mechs, actually, except for Skinniel. Skinniel breaking that uh, pattern, not going with the Steampunk Neo. Um, I'm pretty sure he even owns it, too. I mean, it's not like they knew what would happen. But anyway, taking a quick look at the loadouts. Oh, man, I didn't get to do this like I do beforehand when I make videos. We do see an Aegis on Wolf Cubs, in Wolf Cubs loadout. Uh, I'll comp every si all four uh, basic socket units, um, you know, mostly use socket units in Blue Team's loadout as well, actually. We do have levelers down, a mix of money makers and generators, so that's very, very interesting. Um, and uh, let's see. We do have Eagle Shadow with bombs and a striker. Uh, not super duper common, but not uncommon either. Um, both teams have Berthas. Both teams have Goliaths. Uh, that is the current meta right now. And we do have Wolf Cup doing a little bit of harass with that saucer, uh, dropping a Rebel, trying to get this neutralized. And in the meantime, Skinniel is actually dropping pencils. So now we do have a split of, of tasks on. Um, on blue team, um, or actually, I think Skinny will actually drop some jackals over here. So we 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 are going with quick harasses between both teams. Um, and Wolf Cub now grabbing some creeps, gonna bunker. Um, that you know, it, it, when you want to go with the early defense. Oh, and Rex, what is he doing? Oh man, I think he just kind of a. Uh, kind of derp misclicked or something like that but uh randomly dropping creep at mid and we do see skinny going with jackals for another neutralization attempt but rex is here immediately to respond dropping that dillo in defense will be able to draw the fire from these two uh these two attacking units and uh this, this neutralization will not go through we do have wolf covet uh doing a little bit of harass with this uh, oh and kind of missing not hitting that leveler and does uh, now hit, getting an attack on the lever. And, uh, what the heck? Rex was here to respond, but is trying to respond to Skinniel's attack here as well. And Wolf Cup, oh, not able to actually. Yes, Eagle Shadow was able to grab that. Uh, but now Wolf Cup continuing his attack, not con not actually completely hitting that level. Or going back and forth between these two. Um, and we do see again Skinniel going now with a Longhorn. Gonna go at the front door. There is nothing defending here, so Skinniel will be attacking in here. And Wolf Cup not able to. Oh, actually is able to get away. Wow. Um, now Eagle Shadow forced the body block. Got a little bit of damage in on that front door, so that was very, very, uh, I think that was a worthwhile Longhorn loss. Um, and, uh, you know, it's not just a Longhorn loss. Now, Red Team has to commit units, to, you know, to defend this front door. Um, I doubt that they are going to leave this front door. They're probably going to save them there. So now that was a Longhorn at a cost of a Longhorn and a Dillo sitting here, um, or in, in a trade-off of a Longhorn and a Dillo sitting over there. Um, so now we do have, oh, are they moving out? No, they are not moving out. There is no way they're moving out now. Their mid hasn't even been close to being cleared yet. Um, so this is kind of one thing that you are seeing now on Nestorn since they have moved the mid units, uh, the mid neutrals here to the uh, no, mid neutrals, but the neutrals here at the mid. Um, a lot of players, or a lot of teams, you know, are, are not really going directly for mid. Um, you know, not going for the mid fight, especially because it's really, really easy and effective to harass on Nestorn with those socket units or those sockets everywhere. Um, and Rex almost getting finished off in the air actually by Skinniel and Wolf Cup double team there, but does get back to that factory but now eagle shadow starting to clear out the neutrals on his side which is probably oh oh i hit the wrong button there oh skinny old did get finished off there trying to follow eagle shadow there but not able to get that finish um and now woke up with rebels in queue probably gonna um okay he's gonna try to prevent red from actually grabbing this mid but they did let red uh you know sit there a, for a long time um actually a couple longhorn have been pushed up i didn't really notice that so they did actually go go with the attack here it does go neutral so these longhorn will move in a couple of blue creeps do walk in but not gonna be able to completely oh that runner spawning from that uh longhorn i think um was able to walk in here and actually uh, claim this middle outpost for blue. Not too many red units, but maybe enough to neutralize it. No, I do think that this is going to be under blue's control. A lot of rebels going down, a lot of damage soaking units going down for blue team. Rex getting killed in the air. Skinny will dropping the EMP. And uh, now Wolf Cub is pinning down Eagle Shadow, but Eagle regening a lot of health on the ground will be able to get. Oh, no, no. Wolf Cub trying to circle back, but Eagle Shadow was uh, partially bottled, body blocked, I think, um, I think unintentionally by Rex right there. Um, and we do now have blue team with the control here. Is there any artillery up for red team? Yes, there is a single Archie sitting over here. Um, I don't know if that's really going to be that effective. Skinny will with bombs. It only takes two bombs to kill an Archie. Um, so that is pretty awesome. Um, if you are going with a low level attack, 
uh, the, you know, bombs versus, versus Archies, um, if the Archies are not placed really well and maintained, especially maybe with an Arch, with a, with a, with a, with a, an Osprey at the very least, um, they are gonna go down very, very fast. And Skinny, oh, almost getting finished off there by that focus fire between the two red players. So now we have a normal mid fight. This is what a mid fight looks like, guys. A couple artillery back and forth here, a couple artillery back and forth here, and that is kind of what everybody's trying to figure out how to stop is how to make infantry, or how to make artillery, sort of a um, sort of a uh, not really the main offensive uh, way to, to progress safely because artillery. Uh, is kind of the safe way to attack and skinny will getting that uh, socket unit I don't even know what that was but he got it killed with both Rex and uh, Eagle Shadow and now that looks like a blue <laughs> let's see what that actually is um, I guess it was a I guess it was just a red Dillo um, but yeah man spectate mode buggier than ever nowadays but this is beta guys you can't really especially with carbon being such a small tiny um, uh, dev team but the, the oh Skinny getting finished off by I think that was also a focus fire by Eagle Shadow and Rex. But Rex wasn't actually close to that area, so that might have just been Eagle Shadow with that super awesome uh, striker air fire. Um, but yeah, uh, as of right now, the uh, the artillery war it's it's hasn't really died down too much. Even though they imp implemented that weird mechanic where the see look the, the down near the bottom where where uh, the the power upkeep the power generation goes negative for a brief amount of time. Um, I I don't know why like they chose to do it that way um, when, while the artillery are firing it goes down for a very very minimal amount of time um, I really really wish that it instead it took it took it out of the power pool which I think is what a lot of people were expecting um, that you know when they heard that, that that artillery shots will take power now but that it was completely not what happened um, now it just takes it out of your net power gen um, for a very, very brief amount of time. It's kind of strange. Um, but right now, once again, normal mid-fight. Uh, artillery war here between these two players. We do have Bertha's up. Four, uh, four red team. Um, no Bertha's out yet for blue team. Um, Wolf Cub is the one with the Bertha's in his loadout. In that, uh, they are going saucer Neo, um, which is not super, super common nowadays. Um, the, the like the most fragile max. Um, I think there's nothing like I know the saucer has the least HP. I think Neo, right, guys? I, I'm pretty sure that Neo has the next lowest health. I mean, what else could it be? Bomber? Maybe it's bomber. I don't know. Yeah, I, I know. Anyway, either or, um, yeah, it's just a really strange combination of mechs to see, uh, you know, people, uh, a team going saucer Neo, just kind of strange. Um, and now, uh, red team actually, I would say, winning this artillery war, clearing out a lot of units over here, forcing blue to move their units back, Eagle Shadow actually killing Wolf Cub, and Wolf Cub thro throwing up the ugh. Uh, and now, uh, Rex using that time, oh, hero, t okay, I don't know what to call this, because it's usually hero hogging. But I guess it's hero os hero screen. That that's kind of weird. Um, but you know, not super duper effective with that tickle cannon. Um, and Rex trying to dance around here. Um, and Wolf Cup, uh, and Wolf Cup trying to dance with him too. Um, not too much action going down at the bottom, so I am gonna keep my eye on this. Rex almost getting finished off. Wolf Cup gonna be able. Oh no no! Oh well, Rex getting that level up. Oh, getting that level up. Getting that level up. Oh, getting that level up. Okay, um, he did survive that, um, and so now Skinny with another Dillo at the front door, um, and repositioning it very, very well, it does have to leave the battle because Eagle Shadow probably would have been able to get that kill. Did have a Seeker in queue, so that was probably the right decision, um, and we do, oh, there is a push up here, um, oh god, this is gonna be a losing push. This is, this is not looking too promising. I mean, all these, uh, there is not too many ground defense here, it's mostly art artillery, so I guess this is probably um, you know, a, a potentially effective push but with both mechs here firing at the tanks at the back of the tanks um, not really very 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 successful but in that meantime they were able to drop a couple dillos over here get this outpost neutralized lots of creeps walking in blue got this close blue got this close factory and now eagle shadow and rex are definitely behind that the fight has shifted over here and wolf cub spamming probes like a boss uh is going to be able to keep this outpost under his control rex getting killed eagle shadow very very low on life um I, I skinny old uh, skinny old queuing up dillos um the blue team is a little bit low on power and now um 
now is gonna have to uh, push out or not push out, but drop more uh, drop more defensive units down here. Um, now they do have it. Skinny Eagle did have a full queue of, of seekers and um, and Delos. So now Rex and Eagle Shadow are kind of up against the ropes here. Um, but do, they are pushing out here with a couple Dillos and a single Longhorn, a couple creeps in support. Um, and the, uh, I don't know if this is gonna work actually. Um, Skinny Eagle probably should spam the EMP over here in this area, but instead drops it over here, which is also effective because there were a couple tanks dropped over here as well, and now dropping it once again, um, Rex and Wolf Cub really, or Rex and Eagle Shadow are really, really struggling to drop as many, as much units over here as they can. They really, I, I mean, I would have, I would have, in my opinion, they probably should have gone for neutralization over unit kills. But they had a lot of tanks there at, you know, in, in their queue at their front door, so that's what they went with. Um, you know, n not as easy to to, uh, to to ferry over as you know jackals or rebels. Um, obviously because they have such a higher um, uh, health. Oh, and now Wolf Cup with the with the blue team. Oh, distracted, but does go down with that Bertha in his in his cargo. Um, and uh, does save Red Team the trouble for uh, uh, you know save them the trouble of killing their own abducted unit. So that that there's that. Um. Now, and, well, I, I did take a quick glance at chat, Wolf Cub with the derp. Um, but, you know what, Wolf Cub and Skinny Eel both, um, both, they still have this close factory. And, um, I mean, I mean, I guess, you know, the, the traditional, you know, common sense approach to this, uh, for Rex and Eagle Shadow, would be just to either set up artillery, try to knock down as, m as many units as they as they can over there. Oh, and they even lose this skin eel with the great jackal drop behind that factory or power station. Actually, um, was able to neutralize that very briefly. Now goes back up to red though. And in the meantime, Wolf and Eagle Shadow fighting out down over here. Oh, okay, but right now, uh, yeah, uh, uh, that that outpost was briefly neutralized. Um, and and if Wolf Cub and uh, and Skinny Eel can um, or okay I guess if Skinny Eel can put enough pressure on one one point or another and force Rex and Eagle to both respond, uh, Wolf Cub will do what he did before and ha you know with that freedom to um, abduct whatever he feels like abducting in a different area. Um, but now Eagle's trying to shoot that Bertha. Uh, Wolf Cub just kind of waiting him out and does pick that Bertha up before he gets uh, before he gets uh, before he gets killed. And right now Rex. Trying to deal with this, uh, these jackal drops that Skinny Eel is trying to put down, uh, you know, not super effective, especially when the outpost is very well surrounded. But, well, not very well surrounded, but there are Dillos on both sides protecting there. So, uh, oh, Skinny Eel getting fo followed back with a lot of seeker missiles. Um, and in the meantime, at the bottom, Wolf Cub and Eagle Shadow still duking it, duking it out. Wolf Cub really effectively using this death ray, actually killing that Dillo, killing that seeker. Uh, needs to walk away though. No, oh, does lift off. Oh, and is able to blink away, um, which is one of the main concerns in my head. Actually, I haven't played too much since the uh, since the saucer revamp, um, you know, two weeks ago or a week ago or whatever the hell that was. Um, but you know, you use death ray on the ground, you run out of energy, you don't have enough to blink away anymore, and that is kind of what the uh, you know that was the bread and butter for the saucer. Um, you know. Uh, <laughs> getting the hell out by just blink blink blinking away um you know the ground fire wasn't horrible okay it was kind of horrible <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't like useless though it wasn't like the osprey's ground fire um but uh you know what happens is uh is is, is when you're on the ground you, you don't have enough energy to blink away and you know that was what the saucer's thing was before doing stuff in one area blinking away blinking back you know and that was the saucer had blink Blink, in my opinion, was either, it was probably the second or third most uh, amazing ability in the game. Um, I mean, it, you know, and, and it, that depends on what you're thinking about amazing as well, because uh, Osprey healing artillery is damn effective. You gotta admit that, everyone knows it. Um, but in terms of a single ability, I pr I, I'm really still under the opinion that the Saucer Blink is just marvelous. I, I've always loved Saucer Blink. Um, it's so amazing to just get back and forth from place to place so fast. And Wolf Cup almost getting Z, and he survived using Blink there. There you go. And we'll be able to Blink Z. And Blink can, is, is not um, just limited to your own movement, but because it speeds up your movement, it will speed up your, uh, you know, your, your ferrying abilities and your carry abilities, too. It's really awesome. really provides you a lot of micro, but dang, this is a lot of Dillos pushed up by Rex. I do think that this will work, and and blue team will lose this mid. Um, Skinny will trying to do too much um, to harass at the uh, at the red power station. Um, now finally does go neutral, and uh, not enough defenses over here. 
to uh, to deal with that uh, that uh, Dillo push. But a lot of the tanks for blue team, actually pretty much all of them that were over here, except for one, have been pushed up over here. I They're not really going to... Oh, actually, they are kind of winning. Wolf Cub not dropping down, though, with that... Uh, to try to do that... Um, the death ray. Um, oh, now, now, he, now he is kind of doing the death ray. Okay, no, but where is Skinniel? Skinniel is trying to retake this mid. Oh, what the hell happened here? Um, yeah, focus on one area, lose, uh, lose focus in another. Um, uh, a lot of the red tanks have been killed. I guess Skinniel did a counter push of some kind. Um, I guess I could rewatch it or something. But guys, I'm too lazy for that. Um, uh, right now though, uh, this has been re-neutralized. I'm not really sure if red teams actually will grab it to begin with. But Rex, oh my God, Rex almost dead uh, against the saucer and the Neo. Uh, if you enter the air, you are just what Rex happened, what happened to Rex right there. Uh, gonna get killed. Um, did get killed. I, I was continuing my sentence from before. Shut up, guys. Uh, so now, but but now with not too many units left over here, uh, blue team uh, wolf cub is struggling to hold this outpost. Um, is there enough units over here for a counter push? Kind of. Rex is gonna do that though. Uh, he does have five, six dillos in the area and uh, dropping a couple probes as well. Um, and uh, we will see. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Skinny will drop in a couple of dills. Uh, probably not a good idea. Oh, man. Does turn and burn. Oh, and does not get finished off first before he gets back to the, for that heal. But now Wolf Cub is losing control over here after Rex's uh, tank push. Um, this does go back up to red, and with the outpost control, you have all the power in this area. Um, and in the meantime, Skinny doing a quick four drop. Uh, we are already in quarter four, um, and now about a third of red team's life is gone. Give or take, I would say, I would say about a third-ish, something like that. Um, and right now, Wolf Cup almost uh, does get back to his outpost with that Bertha not blinking. I don't think he was blinking that entire time. You guys, did you guys, I didn't really notice, but was he blinking? Because damn. Um, but yeah, uh, let, let, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> was he blinking, guys? Was he blinking? I don't even know. Um, but yeah, uh, th this is um, this Bertha is up. Uh, fighting against two other Berthas and an Osprey. Oh, three Berthas and a, a, and a team with an Osprey. But Skinny with the cloak. Dillo drop here with two Dillos. Level 10 Neo. Um, I'm not sure what level Neo has to be to be able to do a double draw. Uh, to be able to um, to be able to uh, double carry Dillos. Um, but Skinny doing a really good job moving it around, preventing that block. Um, and Wolf Cub uh, picking it up again. Oh man, blue team getting so much damage, and now they are now red team's almost at halfway of their life. Um, I'm really, I really don't know what fraction that is. I was about to try to guess what the fraction there that was, but um, they are almost at half. Blue team completely, still completely in the in the in, in full at full life. Um, red team, uh, all I mean, obviously all the pressure has been down on red side, has been down here, has been here, a little bit of attack here at the mid, and now Skinny will continually doing jackal drops. I would have liked to see them go behind the output, the the, fact, the power station right there, but I don't know if Skinny would have been able to make it that far, especially with Eagle, Sh Eagle Shadow firing in, so he was forced to drop it, or drop those two, two jackals right about here. Um, and, uh, you know, that, those were pretty much uh, just null and void there. But, you know, once again, we have reset back to a normal mid fight. A bunch of Berthas firing in on the right side, a couple Berthas firing in on the left side. But with control of the mid comes control of the map. And, uh, you know, you, you when you don't have mid, you need to go forward. You know, you need to take mid. Oh, but oh, Skinny does say big push on the way. Um, that's what I get for talking and thinking so damn much instead of watching. Uh, but now Skinnyl does get killed, um, and right now, uh, oh, it's stuck by the Bertha. Oh yeah, the the the, the Dillos were stuck by these Berthas, stuck on the Berthas. Um, those Berthas, as turret units, do have I think massive category weight or something like that. Oh, but Wolf got getting focused by Eagle Shadow and Rex does get killed. Now Skinnyl finally coming back to the fight with these three uh, three creeps. Um, they will be able to no creeps, no creeps. Don't walk around. Walk into the outpost. Oh, pathing. Oh, pathing. Uh, Red team will be able to retake this outpost now. Uh, wow, look at all the Dillos there. Um, lots of lots of lots of Dillos there. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Red team now has control. Um, but I do think if Blue team just holds their ground right now with two outposts versus three, if it does hit overtime two, um, they will win in the bleed out stage. Um, which is a little bit anticlimactic, but that's how that's how it goes. Um, let's. I'm gonna take a quick scout of this factory. It's kind of defended with a couple dillos, but obviously with control of mid, uh, red team would be able to, uh, you know, react to any harassment or a, a you know a fairy fairy push. Um, 
that 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 blue team would try could try to, to go down there with. Um, but now we do see Rex Rex doing a scout actually. I don't I don't know what he wanted to do there. But Eagle Shadow with four level four creeps. Um, level twelve striker can carry four. I gotta keep that in mind. But now oh man. Oh man, those were all killed very, very quickly. But a lot of Dillos going down, a lot more creeps. Oh no, he he picked that up. Man, I'm not just I am just all spazzing out right now. But uh but a couple probes go down, so red team will not be able to take this quite yet. Um and scale and woke up bearing more probes. Not blue yet, not blue yet. Um and these these oh man, those level four creeps were slowed down so much by that stasis blast. Um still not claimed by any of these teams. Um Eagle Shadow now coming back to the fight. Where is he going? Oh, just trying to grab creeps. Does not have any oh he has probes in his loadout, so I would expect him to maybe just queue them up. Oh, he is gonna start to try to stack creeps, I guess, or put those creeps there for defensive purposes just to prevent any drops that go down. But blue team was able to retake this factory here. Um, not necessarily retake, but I guess reclaim it. Um, they, they had it surrounded by units the entire time, and all those Dillos, I think, were killed. Um, yes, I don't think they were evacuated. Um, but right now, Red Team still has firm, firm, firm control of mid, um, and Blue Team putting the lunchbox on uh, on this fort. Um, Skinny probably going to reposition it. No, no, it does not bring the lunchbox off to, uh, to the generator that I found. Oh, Eagle Shadow getting away there. Skinny will um, not able to drop with that EMP in time, and Eagle Shadow dropping the happy face. Um, and now Wolf Cup. Yeah, Wolf Cup was not able to get that high low there. Um, but Skinny will now also also putting away his creeps, uh, keeping them here at the on these platforms, and they are level four creeps sitting there are super duper effective at from you know at 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 keeping <laughs> and Wolf Cub and Wolf Cub um, uh, abducting a level four creep over here. I mean, I guess it causes them a little bit of trouble, so why not, right? <laughs> but yeah, uh, level four creeps on those on those platforms really, really effective at just demolishing, taking care of anything that the uh, that the opponent drops there. Oh god, Eagle Shadow getting finished off there, but was able to drop his Longhorn on attack before getting before getting killed. Um, and Rex is getting killed as well. But these, these, this wall is holding firm. None of these Dillos have been finished off in a single Longhorn still at the front door as well. Um, and Skinny with that EMP, able to effectively support those tanks for that defense. And now, uh, that that was a failed drop attempt by Red, which they didn't really... I personally don't even think they really had to do. They just, they can take this outpost. This, this outpost. this area has been completely cleared. So if they start pushing up and maybe fearing their Bertha's over just a little bit, not ferrying them over, but really positioning them you know for more effective use and woke up trying to get this neutralized with a few rebels not really gonna get it needs to blink away please blink away okay there it does woke up does blink away um, but yeah, if, if they keep pushing up, they have a huge line here. Look at this line of Bertha's and a lot of Dillos, a lot of Seekers defensively. If they just go, oh, and that is what they're doing. They are going, let's see if Skinnyl, no, Skinnyl is not there to scout it, but probably will on his way back. Um, does see it. I'm pretty sure he did see that. Wolf Cup also does see it for sure. So now, Blue Team is definitely aware that a push is coming. Um, if it is on Y, they probably will go this way, I think. They either go this way or they try to go this way. Um, I think they go, I think they go on the right side so this line of defense here won't be super duper effective oh and wolf cub using this time to uh drop the, the tank here but you know super well defended they won't really get that much damage down um but right now blue team um have, has this been set on capture yes it has been set on capture oh my god that's a lot of tanks holy crap that's a lot of tanks um jeez that's like 20 or something like 20 25 or at least it used to be before they all died um not all died but a bunch of them died um and this has been neutralized oh man red blue team is definitely going to use this lose this outpost um and all our units over here wolf got trying to use his death ray but not really going to get that far um and when skinny anticipating the uh the, the next procession of tanks if they are all set on capture they are um you know kind of split up between the closest outpost and the next closest outpost if there are enough push units um and damn and damn um oh god um okay so red, blue team has been able to shut it down here but red team now with the map control now definitely with map control only one outpost left for red team and they really really need to start to move their berthas out um they're all hidden in the trees and that is what rex is doing is he gonna sell them oh he did sell them is he just selling them for goliaths he might just be using uh using these uh you know or not using them but recycling them for goliaths 
Um, and Skinnyl, what did Skinnyl do? He did a quick Dillo drop over here, uh, but you know this wall is so firm. If I were Red Team, I would spend just 10 seconds or so, 10 to 15 seconds at the max, just making a neater wall, just so Blue couldn't do that anymore, especially with a Neo. When you're against a Neo and you're playing drop games, they are so, they're super, super dangerous. Especially, I mean, they still have this outpost, which Skinnyl can start from and go all the way around. Oh man, that is not working. All the way around here and hit the fort. Um, so you really, really, really need a good wall and really, really, really need a good defense. Um, but Skinnyl not doing that quite yet. We are almost in overtime too, so the bleed out will start quite soon, but um, I, I'm not 100% on the rate. I'm not 100% on the rate of... Of, of, of bleed, uh, uh, you know, depending on how much outpost you have. I'd really like to know those specific numbers, like HP per, s or like 4 HP per second. I forgot actually also how many, how much HP the fort has. It's something like 5,000, something like that, I forget. Um, but right now, uh, you know, we are in overtime too. Finally, the bleed out is starting, and blue's team, blue team's life is going down actually fairly quickly. Uh, red team's is not. So we will have a drop fest by, by red team, or by blue team, or I would think that maybe that blue team would use these units and start pushing from here uh, and ferry over. Um, and Wolf Cup does say jackal spam everything. And uh, now uh, Skinny and Wolf Cup both have jackals. Oh, they they all oh, they did notice that mid is completely undefended. Um, there is nothing here. They neutralize it so fast. There is going to be no red bulbs at all over there. And so let's see if they are able to actually grab this. Um, oh no, they just want to neutralize. They just want to neutralize. So blue team's life is going to uh, bleed faster than oh, but the blue. Uh, red team is starting to push. I don't think this is enough tanks though. Red team has such a good, uh, blue team has such a good line here. One Goliath, but that's definitely not going to be enough. Um, a lot. Look at these level four creeps just demolishing all these tanks over here. There's not going. This is definitely not going to work. Red team has a bleed failed push, and now they are they are starting to trail in the in the upkeep count. It's 85, 77 to 98. It's about 100 to, to 75 ish. Um, and now Wolf Cup and Skinny Wolf Cup with that death rate just completely destroying everything over here. Rex goes down. Eagle Shadow goes down, and Skinny. And and uh, and Wolf Cup are just oh man they have clean house uh, Wolf Cup trying to abduct but I think that Goliath is definitely gonna get killed oh hey how about that it didn't get killed that was kind of freaking weird but now with that all in push that was an all in push there are no tanks left here there are no tanks left here there's pretty much nothing left over here red team is kind of screwed if blue team just sets all their stuff to either T or Y or whatever the hell they want, they can pretty much gain complete map control as there is nothing, absolutely nothing left for Red Team at all over here. Uh, over here, I'm saying over here, but like over here and over here and over here and over here. Everywhere except for their fort is pretty much bare. And right now it's Eagle Shadow trying to do two Longhorn drops. Uh, it's it's kind of going to work, but it's kind of not. Rex with Billows as well. Um, Rex going to get finished off in the air, I think. Oh yes, does get finished by Wolf Cup. And oh man, uh, well, now Wolf Cup with Rebels really could just set them on capture. There is nothing over there. Um, they need to just move. And um, <laughs> an Eagle Shadow and uh, <laughs> Wolf Cup exchanging gentlemanly words there. Um, yeah, so um, so Red Team will probably lose to a bleed out at this point. This outpost is going to get captured and overtaken as well. Red Team probably should just push out with all of their all of their, um, all of of their their um tanks at this point. Uh, that's kind of the only chance they... I mean, it's probably not going to work, but at this point, they've lost all their tanks in that one failed, failed, failed push. Um, and Rex now... What does Rex have in his queue? Oh, I guess he's just moving really slowly because he has, like... Oh, I guess he's a gamepad player or something like that. But, you now Eagle Shadow with another Dillo over here. Not going to get too far. Shoots in a little bit, but look at Red Team's life. There is nothing left over here. Red Team, I think, has pretty much given up. Um, and they are quite upset as well. Quite upset as well. Um, and I'm going to let you guys evaluate how upset uh, yourself. Um, uh, and right now, uh, Skinny Hill with those uh, light units, going to be able to get this neutralized very, very quickly. And Wolf Cup with more Rebels as well. Um, and Eagle Shadow just flying around in circles. Red Team has pretty much accepted defeat. There is no, And Rex has stopped moving. All he's doing is typing. Um, I'm not going to pay attention to that. You guys can you guys can read whatever you want to read. But now complete map control on Blue Team's side. Uh, they are at that domination stage. And Blue Team, with that final bleed out, uh, HP going down and chat just disappears in replays nowadays. I don't know what the hell is wrong with that. But Wolf Cub and Skinny Eel do take this ranked 2v2 match on Nestorn over Rex and Eagle Shadow. 
Um, <laughs> uh, pretty back and forth. I could have sworn blue team had it right at the beginning, but those pushes from red team were so effective and worked so well. But that final, final push was the crux in this match. And blue team was able to shut it down. Counter push like crazy, take map control, and get this victory. This is RUI, and that is game. See you next time.